Hi everybody, Fox Nomad here, and today I want to help you travel smarter. So, most modern smartphones have ditched the headphone jack. And while some people still complain about it, for the most part, we've gotten used to wireless headphones and earbuds. They're good quality, low lag, and small enough, and portable enough, and good enough that we just get on with our daily lives. That is, until we board an airplane. In-flight entertainment systems, for the most part, are wired headphones only. And sometimes you want to watch that new superhero movie or classic you keep putting off, or you just didn't download everything you wanted for a really long flight. And usually you're stuck with one of these because in-flight entertainment systems don't support wireless earbuds. Except there is a way. Using one of these little things to connect your wireless headphones or earbuds to airplane entertainment systems, treadmills, or whatever just happens to have an audio jack. This is the Airfly Pro. It's a small Bluetooth transmitter you pair wirelessly with your cordless earbuds or headphones, and on the other end, you plug this into a headphone jack. It's made by a company called 12 South, but it is also sold directly by Apple Online and in their stores. And you can see it has a very Apple aesthetic, simple, small, and comes in two colors, matte white or matte black. 12 South actually make a few different type of Airfly, the regular Airfly, the Airfly Duo, and Airfly Pro. The main differences are the Airfly connects to only one device at a time, the Duo and Pro let you connect to two sets of headphones at the same time, and the Pro lets you do things in reverse, which is stream from an iPhone to a headphone jack. For example, streaming music to a car that doesn't have a Bluetooth connection, or a rental you don't want to sync your phone with. For this review, we'll stick to the Airfly Pro, which Apple notes will work with AirPods and Beats, both Apple products, but the Airfly Pro will actually work with a wide range of wireless headphones and earbuds. The Airfly Pro is pretty small, coming in this small pouch, measuring 10.92 centimeters at its longest and weighing only 15 grams, which means it easily fits in the palm of your hand. It charges via USB-C and on a full battery gives you around 16 hours of listening time. The design is fairly simple. You've got your audio jack here and a pairing button, and on the side there's a switch between transmit and receive modes, as well as a small reset button to return the device to factory settings. Pairing the Airfly with your headphones is pretty straightforward. You push and hold the power button down for 4 seconds, and once the indicator light is flashing orange and white, it's ready to pair. Then you'll put your wireless headphones in pairing mode, and hopefully after about 5-10 to 10 seconds of digital magic, you're all set. And I recommend when you're first setting up the Airfly Pro and pairing it with your earbuds, that you do that process at home, because it's not the most intuitive, mainly because you've got to deal with all these indicator lights, which you most certainly are gonna forget what any of those means. So it's just easier to get this set up with your earbuds and get it synced and paired and everything when you're at home rather than when you're on the airplane. Now, one thing I don't like about the Airfly Pro is that the receive and transmitter switch here isn't labeled. So you can easily switch this into receive or transmit mode and then get on the airplane and wonder why it's not working with your earbuds and you forget that this switch is even there at all. So it's a little bit confusing, so it might be worth it just to take a marker or something and just note it there. Now once you get the initial pairing with your earbuds completed, all you have to do to get this working is hold the power button down for 4 seconds to turn on the Airfly Pro, and then it is ready to connect with your headphones, and you are all set. You can also pair multiple devices to the same Airfly Pro, so two people can listen to the same audio at the same time, but in my experience, you usually have to reset the Airfly Pro a few times to get everything synced and working with all the devices. All right, so we've got everything paired with the Airfly Pro, your earbuds and everything. Now all you have to do is turn it on, plug it into the entertainment system, and it's going to transmit the audio from whatever would normally be going into that headphone jack wirelessly to your earbuds. And the sound quality is good. Obviously, the quality is going to be based on your particular earbuds, but the sound quality being transmitted is clear. And if you have noise cancelling, all of those features will work as normal. And, and this is a big end, when the pilot comes on the overhead system to tell you about the weather at your destination, or the flight crew comes on to tell you about the meal or something like that, the volume of what you're hearing from the overhead speakers through the earbuds or your headphones that you're using wirelessly isn't 15 times louder than whatever movie you're listening to. And that's because the sound is compressed, so the sound gets compressed here, and everything is kind of leveled out. So that is a huge bonus. If you fly and you've worn one of these on a plane, you know that when you put these things on, and then the captain comes on, 
whatever you're listening to through the in entertainment system is just so much louder. It's like almost going to make you deaf. So that is definitely a nice bonus about using the Airfly Pro. And with the Airfly Pro, there's not much noticeable lag at all. I found that the few times I experienced lag, where the sound is just a bit behind what's shown on the screen, turning the Airfly Pro on and off again resolved the issue. Though it was pretty rare to begin with, and the lack of significant lag means watching things on the in-flight entertainment system was enjoyable. Like, actually enjoyable. It was fun to just scroll through all the various random movies, the new releases, the things I might not watch otherwise on the in-flight entertainment system. It was nice not to go deaf every time somebody had an announcement from the flight deck. It was just really nice to be able to use the high quality of my earbuds on the flight. And it was really nice that there was no lag when I was watching things. If I were to have any complaints about the Airfly Pro, it'd be that it's not the most intuitive to use, mainly because of those indicator lights and the switch not being labeled, and the price. The Airfly Pro is $55, though you can get the regular Airfly for about half that price. You just lose the ability mainly to be able to stream the audio to two different sets of headphones at the same time. If you mainly fly solo or you don't see yourself in a situation often where you're going to be sharing that movie screen, that in-flight entertainment screen and watching the same movie with the person next to you, or you don't see yourself wanting to connect this to like a rental car and tie it to your phone so that you can play things from your phone to the car, or you're mainly just looking at this to use it with a treadmill because you can do that. You can connect this to anything that has a headphone jack then the regular Airfly should meet your needs. Now, if you want the option to be able to share the audio from a single in-flight entertainment screen, maybe you travel with your kids often or your partner and you like to watch movies together, then the Airfly Pro will do that. Now, if you also have, let's say, a car that doesn't have a Bluetooth connection, or maybe you rent a lot of cars, or maybe you just have a regular speaker that doesn't have any Bluetooth connection at all, just anything with a headphone jack where you want to connect it so that you can listen to it with your wireless earbuds, then the Airfly Pro is probably a better deal than the Duo because it's only $10 more and you get the ability to transmit with it. So I would say if you're looking at that dual connection or any of those scenarios, go with the Airfly Pro rather than the Duo. Overall, I'm impressed with the Airfly Pro. Compared to other cheaper Bluetooth transmitters that I've tested, the connections are really solid, the sound quality is good, the lag is very, very minimal, and once you get past that initial setup, which can be a little bit confusing, everything works pretty easily. And honestly, as a traveler, it's nice to have the option to watch what's on the in-flight entertainment system. And I find myself having this in my carry-on pretty much all the time because look how, look how little it is. And having the option to just watch a new release or some random movie or something when you, you know, take a lot of long flights is really useful. And the Airfly Pro, Though it is a little bit pricey at $55, it's an expense that's worth it for me and might be worth it for you. Thanks for watching. That's my review of the Airfly Pro. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know down in the comments below. And while you're down there, hit the like and subscribe buttons. I'll have new videos for you every week and I'll see you in the next video. As far back as I can remember. Captain speaking here and uh, I always wanted to be a gangster. Just wanted to let you know the weather at the destination. To me, being a gangster is going to be different by the time we get to your destination. Hello, this is your captain again. Just wanted to say thanks again for watching this video.